everybody, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to the Metro Manila Arena here in the Philippines for tonight's main event. This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters say they are primed, coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. Opening three minutes of this scheduled 12-rounder. Iron's showing that walking stick right now, utilizing the jab. Two guys with bad intentions now facing each other here. You know, the old-timers would say it's harder to miss these guys than it is to hit them. Able to dismiss that body shot. Good job! He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left-hand scores. A well-targeted hook to the head by Iron. Oh, good defense there. That was a fine block by the assassin. Nice block by Iron. Halfway through round number one. He missed with that headshot. Nice strike after catching one by Iron. was not well targeted by the assassin. <laughs> Able to cover up that gut. Iron's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. <laughs> Protecting his head well with his guards. Final 10 seconds of round number one. The assassin's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. You can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he's doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I notice is his back's not leaning against the corner pad. You know, that's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something bad happened to him. You know, he's leaning back like that. You have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's popping. Positive, you know that he had a good round. You don't need that. Throw that away. Here we go. Round two is underway. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Oh. 
Well, nowadays we have so many different weight classes. Used to be only eight weight classes. Now with all the super and juniors attached to every weight class, you can go up and down the scale with ease throughout your career. Is that good for the game? No, I don't really think it is because you're making it too easy for the fighters. You know, I'm not saying that it's not good that they have an alternate to a weight class, but a lot of times when you make things easy, they're going to go for the path that is easier. In other words, somebody should be a middleweight. Now all of a sudden they're going to be a light heavyweight. They're going to be a super middleweight. Where with a little discipline, they would have fit into that middleweight frame. It wasn't that they couldn't. The Assassin's in a tough spot right now. Boy, he got rocked. There it is. What a hook to the body. And he is down and in bad shape. just a flash knockdown there, Teddy. Yeah, I think he's okay. He looks clear-headed. His legs are okay. Now it's just a matter of making sure that he understands why he got caught. That works out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. He's targeting upstairs. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Final 10 seconds of round number two. So he scores a knockdown in the last round. Now he gets to settle down and gather himself a bit. Do you go after it? Do you get super aggressive here having had your man hurt? Or do you still have to employ a certain amount of caution? It's kind of like being at the carnival. You know, you just you just hit the bullseye and you got that big, big stuffed animal you can give to your wife or your girlfriend. But now he doesn't want you to go away with that. Oh, no. No, no. no. He tells you, wait a minute, try again. You could trade that in for something either bigger. But you might lose the one you have already. That's the question. The Assassin's bounce is back in his step. The start of a new round coming off a round in which he really took some punishment. Well, that's what being in great shape will do for you. Also, great experience where he's been through these things before and he's not panicking. Fine-looking right hand by the Assassin. from those punches. Iron's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. That's a solid right hand by the assassin. The assassin's dazed after that punch. Finished with a hook. Stunned, but all of a sudden now, surviving. Looking good. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Hitting his mark there, going upstairs. The 
Combo lands upstairs. Seconds to go in this third round. All right, all right. You are dominating this fight. Keep it up. Just keep doing what you're doing. You won that round, all right? You won that. You need to move your head more, side to side, okay? I want to see that head move more. Don't waste energy, but I want you to keep those hands moving. You don't need that, I'll throw that away. Start of round number four, and Teddy's scorecard, a very easy one to read. Three rounds to none. Of course, his opponent's gone down already, so he can just build upon that lead at this point. Well, his opponent's acting like a guy who hasn't eaten for weeks, and he's being fed, fed right hands. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Iron's blocking ability oh, is doing jam. well good, for him there. what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by Irons. You're still not moving enough. A good block. That's what I want to see. The Assassin's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Now hugging on the inside. Iron's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. The assassin's showing us that his legs may not be completely underneath him the way he wants them to be after being stunned earlier. He's really hanging on in there. He's tying up a lot. Yeah, but he's being allowed to. I have to say that right now as a trainer, that he's allowed to do that. His opponent should not cooperate with him. He should take a little step back and make sure he takes advantage. Don't let him tie up. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. Work the body, kid. Body shot. Do that again. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. A one stinging two, uppercut two. by Iron. You got this one. Good smooth work by Iron. That's classic counterpunching. Yeah, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back, gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right hand. Joe and Teddy with you here in between Stand rounds. A round up. in which, boy, he really just dominated his opponent. Teddy, 
He's got to think things could be coming to a sensational ending for him when he gets off the stool here. Well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can't, he's chomping at the bid. He's confident. His chest. His hands will drop and follow with a power shot. Right, keep this guy off balance. Relax. Round number five has arrived. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming punches. forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Beat him to the punch! Not able to land the headshot. He scored well after being hit himself. Let's go. Got to try to do better than that. He missed with that hook. He's tied! He's tied! The Assassin's damaged by a right hand. Boy, I know he's not in great shape, but all of a sudden he's doing a very good job of defending himself. You know, it's a funny thing. He's fighting on instincts, and sometimes that's a good thing. You don't want to get hurt to get there, but you want to get there. Right now he's doing things without thinking, naturally. The Assassin's got no chance of keeping his opponent off balance. None at all, because he's not moving at all. Maybe he doesn't want to. You know, guys start to deteriorate, not just physically outside, but inside. Maybe he's given up already, and maybe he doesn't want to fall down. He knows everybody's going to see that, but maybe this is his way of getting out of there. He knows the ref's going to stop it. Well off the mark by Iron. That's it. That's it. One, two. One, two. Last 10 seconds. What a good war this has been. What a good, good, solid fight it's been. The kind of fight that tells me somebody wants to get rid of the other guy. It almost looks like they made a deal where neither one could win by decision. Where if they didn't win by knockout, it doesn't count. Don't fight his fight. Jab and move. You're doing fine. He's just beating you to punch, that's all. You need to throw more. If you're not punching, he is. The start of the sixth round. The Assassin's at a very interesting stage of the fight. Not necessarily the moment when you're knocked down, but the start of the next round when your opponent can look at your eyes, see your legs, and know exactly where you stand. You got this one. Kiss move. Kiss move. Now he ties up there. Relax, relax. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs.
blocks that punch. That's a huge left he just scored with. The Assassin's gaining some momentum on his side and starting to pour it on. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Work the body. Unable to make an impact there by the assassin. Back to the body. Punch, punch. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Iron. There you go. Just like that. You see him holding on. Iron's well off the mark that time. And he's Up just not engaging Up in the cut. fight. He clinches again. And he clinches yet again. Unable to land clean by Iron. Get, Working our way get, towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. Iron's really fun. doing a fine job here, Teddy. And I know everybody falls in love with the clean, effective punching. But you can make an argument that he's controlling this fight right now Listen thanks to, to his head movement. Yeah, you know, it makes me think about that legendary story about the old great Willie Pep, the Will of the Wisp. There was a legend that he actually won a round without throwing a punch just by making his opponent miss, just by ring generalship. All right, deep breath now. Deep breath. Relax. Relax. Are you all right? I need you to keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Don't worry now, all right? I just I need you to focus. Keep... Six rounds in the books. Six to go. Nowhere close that punch by Iron. <laughs> Nice. Looking good. Assassin's work rate is very high. I looked at the, the punch stats, good, and you can good. see that he's a busy guy. I don't think he's an effective guy, though. A lot of these aren't landing. Well, you have a reason to think that, Joe. Guess what? I agree. They're not landing. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. At the halfway point of round seven. Oh! How about that? He goes from being the victim to handing out the punishment. he gets and if he wants to stay up he's gonna have to grab on kill a little time thought he had his target but way off to the side with the uppercut defense more defense <laughs> shake it off let's go let's get out there body <gasps> shot body shot solid 
right hand lands. The assassins found that groove. All of a sudden, Teddy, he found the answer. Yeah, well, what happened is he made a little adjustment a couple rounds ago. He started countering a little bit, and now even the aggressive part of the fight is working Get for him. Good Get shift in momentum by him. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Nice work, nice work. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, 10 seconds. Big shot. And once again, he goes down. The question is, can he rise up again? And that's the end of round seven. Don't let him breathe. He's hurt. Get him this round. There you go. Don't worry. Get in your rhythm, okay? I want to see more jabs. Teddy's scorecard has him trailing by a significant margin here as we start round number eight. Is there any hope that he can get back into this fight? He doesn't look like a guy that can. There's always hope, Joe. I mean, that's what this business is about. It's about Jump finding ways, Teddy. about overcoming. Right now, he needs to ask himself the get question, move. am get I move. in or am I out? going out there after just being knocked down in the last round. If you're oh, you standing opposite one. him, what's the mentality? What's the strategy here? Well, you want to go after him, but you don't want to walk into a trap either. You want to kind of size him up a little bit. You want to see if he looks like he's okay, but at the same time, keep in your mind that he might be trying to con you. You know you hurt him, so keep put that pressure moving. on, but do it smart. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. That was a big shot that floored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Down he goes, but he's going to continue on, beating the count. 90 seconds to go, halfway through round eight. Double up on your punches. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Keep moving. And yet another big shot comes in. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying. Falling like a sack of potatoes. One, two, three, four. The fight is over. Iron smashed, and he can't get up. Unable to beat the count. The assassin's power turns things around. He goes from trailing on your scorecard to winning by knockout. That's what's great about this sport, and that's why people always come out to watch it, because you can make everything right in the world, or at least that night you can make everything right in the ring. He made it right. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.